Hey everybody, this is Dave Ko, and today we're gonna look at working with text in Premiere Pro, learning how to align it this way or this way, uh, centering it vertically and horizontally, and then managing it. So stick around. So we have our typical layout here where we're, you know, trying to put a title on, say, an opening for a show or a main title. And uh, so what we typically do is go into our tool panel here and pick the type tool. And then we go in here and just start typing out, um, let's call, I don't know, the cityscape. That's the name of the uh, title of our film. Then we'll hit the selection key and uh, line it up here and you'll notice that if you've ever played with type you notice that little um, circle there that is your anchor point so whenever you're doing any kind of manip manipulation of your type and you'll see that in your type tool default you might see this in your source window if you go over to effect controls then you'll see, well, you have to have it selected. You have this selected. And you go into effect controls, you'll see that there's a bunch of controls here and you can control your type in here. So you wanna change your typeface to something else. Um, I don't know. That's not a big change. Helvetica new, to, we'll just use Helvetica, that's fine. Uh, but not condensed. Let's try something bold, there we go. Okay, so we're using uh, Helvetica bold. And then we want, you can change your, add a stroke to it. Um, you can change your paragraph setting so it aligns left, right, or center. Uh, let's center it for the sake of argument and the sake of this exercise. Now, we don't know exactly where center is, so um, we're just kind of at this point guessing uh, where that center might be. So the way that uh, you can do it is very simple. Um, up here, there's uh, sort of these default work areas. And so if you're coloring, there, you know, it optimizes for coloring. If you're doing effects, it optimizes for effects. Um, what we really wanna do is go into the graphics panel. And in the graphics panel, there's a bunch of default templates. So you can do like these movie, find movie titles. And basically what you do is you just grab it and pull it over and you have to render it, but uh, essentially you have this graphic template that's already made. You just fill in all of the details there. And there's a bunch of these um, different types of um, pre-made things for news or for lower thirds or um, these, these sports graphics, news graphics. It's all kind of built in there and there's a bunch of people who are making these type of templates if you're interested. But what we're really interested in is how to manipulate this type here. And the way to do it is the default here is browse, but you go over and click on edit. And then in edit, you're like, okay, what do we do in here? You have to click on that layer because you may have multiple layers or multiple titles. So you had a, a subtitle. Let's uh, let's add a subtitle here. The city, the cityscape. Um, I'm from Vancouver, so I'm going to add Vancouver. Uh, this isn't really Vancouver, but just for the sake of this exercise. So I'm going to add the subtitle Vancouver, and you have to select whichever layer type layer that you're working with so i'm using vancouver here and then i can just scale it down scale 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 and as i mentioned before it's scaling from the corner because our anchor point is there now we can go back in here and click open all of our properties for the vancouver type layer and let's make that center just because we're going to center the whole thing anyway and then from there we will scale this down you can scale it in here or you can scale it in here so either one from the actual uh, effect controls which is scaling the it's giving you the real um, scale value for the type here or you can do it by percentage this is a, um, a relative scale so a hundred percent this oops 110 percent a hundred percent this is what uh, a font size of two or two hundred can't type today uh, of Helvetica new looks like. So um, let's say something like that. 
So just for the sake of this exercise, for this tutorial, I'm going to offset them a bit so that we can really see it snap into place. What we really want to look at is here the Align and Transform tool. And here we have the vertical align, and so we don't want it there. So we know that vertically it's aligned there, and horizontally it's aligned there. And then we'll go up to Cityscape and do the same thing. Vertically it's aligned there, horizontally it's aligned there. And from then, I can go to Vancouver and pull it down uh, holding the shift key um, just so that it doesn't budge over to the left or right it's just staying under so that's essentially it i mean you can go and you can align these left if you want uh, just make sure that you're selecting the right type layer and then you can select both of them by holding the shift key and moving them over um, and you know you can position it anywhere uh, essentially and then if you don't like that you can go back to the center um, I, I've selected both here and I'm pressing center and then center um, vertically center them here and then I have to go to Vancouver and pull it down so that's essentially it uh, quick and dirty it's just going into the effects panel and doing that or actually what you can do if you want to is while you're in the editing um, workspace you can go into window here and open essential graphics and it'll open up the panel here on the side and you know maybe you're doing a lot of graphics and you need that open um, you, this is the default for the graphics panel or for the graphics workspace but you can add that panel there and, and once you're done so you want to go back to your editing space you can either close it or undock it uh, so that you have these different workspaces so that's essentially it let me know in the comments if this was helpful for you or not and um, let me know what else you want to learn so I hope that was helpful that's pretty much it for working with text we can get a little bit deeper into it but I wanted to just make a simple tutorial on how to work with text where to find graphics panel so you can manipulate your text you can align it you can center it I know it's one of those things where it's such an easy thing but you just need to know like where it is so hopefully you found that helpful and that's going to help you create amazing videos and titles for your videos all right join me next time or take a look on the playlist I'm not sure where it's going to be on the screen but take a look at the playlist of other Premiere tutorials or After Effects tutorials if you're interested in that. I also have a free After Effects title template that you can bring into Premiere and it's a very simple minimalistic um, title template Mogurt thingy that you can bring into Premiere and you can just swap out the text and use it for your videos. Alright, until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. Ciao.